सो हाई गाइज फाइनली इट्स टाइम टू डिस्कस अबाउट बायोकेमिस्ट्री ओके नाउ बायोकेमिस्ट्री इज लाइक द मोस्ट हेटेड सब्जेक्ट इन योर होल मेडिकल लाइफ बट वाई सो बिकॉज दिस इज अ सब्जेक्ट विच इज मोस्ट रिलेटेबल टू द टू योर पास्ट लाइफ यू कैन से मीन्स वेल यू वर इन इलेवन ट्वेल्थ और इफ यू हैव डन कॉलेज बिफोर दिस सो दे इज अ हाई चांस यू हैव स्टडीड बायोकेमिस्ट्री मोर देन वट यू आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इन योर uh medical college so it bring back all the bad memories okay well in the degree colleges my friends have told me that they love biochemistry but here many people don't like it including me do we have any clinical application for this let me tell you most of the ipd patients you will see they will have their clinical biochemistry reports with them and even many opd patients you will see will show you their clinical biochemistry reports yeah i mean your uh, your lipids profile kft lft these all comes under your biochemistry right and you do that stuff in your practicals in your first year so actually you get to have a lot of practical and a lot of clinical exposure in your first year in biochemistry there there is one more thing see uh, when you study physiology and in, in the physiology you are studying about system wise so Uh, if you study some system here you will study that system in medicine if you are studying anatomy then if you are studying some region here then you will study that in your surgical subjects but where you will study biochemistry in clinicals so basically you will study them in these uh, tests in medicine or you will study a lot of biochemistry the not the biochemistry but the applications of biochemistry in pediatrics because lot of pediatric diseases you will see in your biochemistry so how do you study so first let's talk about how to do the practical part of the biochemistry right uh, first of all you all will be having your practical manuals with you i guess uh, because uh, whether whether the whether the university have issued them to you or you buy it yourself uh, so the those practical manuals are important and uh, they will tell you about the clinical biochemistry uh, the these clinical biochemistry reports which you see you can read them if you have done your practicals well okay so do well in your practicals whenever you see some patient at home then do try to read their clinical biochemistry reports you will see a lot of them like i told in physiology this is practical so you will learn it by doing it and not just by reading it in the books okay so it is important that you do read some clinical biochemistry report for which you already know the diagnosis so now let's jump to theory how do you do theory now in theory again i am going to divide it into two parts one is the metabolism part actually three parts one is metabolism part the other is your genetics part and the other is your immunology part okay so for biochemistry because there is a lot to understand so your lectures notes are very important and if you are not comfortable with your college then let me suggest you some lectures if you can find uh, dr raymond's lecture on internet then they are very good for biochemistry or you can take any undergraduate course of biology in on internet there are so many online courses are available even we have some courses from harvard online available in biochemistry okay Uh, for free so that's a great option let's see what books you can refer to so there are many books now the gold standard of biochemistry is uh, leninger's but uh, Len- leninger's is like 10 times more than what you actually need in biochemistry in your medical college okay so there is one more book harper harper is again a big book but it's really really good written so you, if you want to understand medical biochemistry in depth you can understand that that's a very good reference book The textbook I used for metabolism portion is this one. This is Lipinkoff's Biochemistry. This is a very good book because the because the diagrams you see. So there are many diagrams in this book. I love these diagrams because of these diagrams it's now very easy to study biochemistry. So this is a wonderful book. Uh, and uh, uh, in in my college everybody knows about this book, but uh, I've seen that many other colleges they don't know about these books. but there is one more revision book that most of the students have seen and they do they do know about that and that is golian everybody know golian's book of pathology okay a lot of people pronounce it as golgen it's actually golian but uh, like pathology he has also written a book in biochemistry and you that is a rapid review biochemistry you can refer to that book also that's a wonderful book for revision lot of pathways that you study in metabolism so those pathways and their clinical correlations are precisely given in the rapid review So this was about the metabolism portion now let's talk about the genetics portion clinical correlations of the genetics are really really important you will study a lot of disorders in that a lot of new technologies techniques you can study and the pharmacology that is related to this is very high yield because all that pharmacology is used in cancer medicine so the genetics part is really really important now how do you study well uh, lipincord is a very good book for that and you can pass your examinations with that 
but for lectures i would suggest you to refer mit ocw there are many courses on genetics and dr eric lander is one of the best teacher of this i actually started from berkeley first uh, and berkeley was much more better but the lectures are not available now but dr eric's lectures are still there so i have put the link in the descriptions go see that course it's amazing and you will understand and genetics much more beautifully because he is one of those guys who were there while this all stuff was happening so they have studied the genetics from those people who actually discovered that stuff and the biochemistry is a very small subject so there is not going to be a very long video immunology i will cover in another video it's more important to study it with microbiology rather than biochemistry so for now whatever your college is teaching you uh, stick to that later i'll tell you how you actually can study immunology because i know immunology is like one of the most struggled subject in your whole medical life i struggled a lot with that subject i know it's a very difficult subject but don't worry i'll make it easy for you so there is one more aspect of biochemistry as well as actually in physiology that is required and that is that you can do research in these now uh, you can do that in anatomy also and i'll make a separate video on how to do research but uh, these are good topics where you can do research and you can understand these topics more easily uh, while by doing that so i hope you get something from this video then tell me in the comment section that what book you refer for biochemistry and uh, of course like and share the video and you want to know more about this medical stuff and how medical students think then do subscribe we'll meet in the next video